this season you are able to make your own washing detergent and the best thing it's zero waste toxic and chemical free and won't cost you a penny it's the most environmentally friendly and most affordable option out there and it only involves a relaxing walk through the woods and some mindful working in the kitchen from end of september to the beginning of november you can go into any forest or park where chestnut trees grow and get us some chestnuts there. Make sure to bring a bag with you. The ones that just fell down are the best to use since they are the easiest to cut. We are gathering horse tree chestnuts, which are also known as conkers. They are not edible and should not be confused with sweet chestnuts. Make sure that the chestnuts look fresh and not old. It's also better to go on a dry day if you are lucky enough to find such a day during autumn. Rinse the chestnuts in water to remove dirt before you use them. Cut them in half and then in fourth. For a whitewash, I suggest peeling them. I usually make two bowls. In the one bowl, I put all the pieces that are easy to peel and one with those that are harder to peel. If you just want to try this for the first time, then the next step would be to slice up about five of the chestnuts, peel them for white clothes, and soak them in about 300 ml hot water for about one to two hours. If you use cold water, then let it sit overnight before use. You can also boil them for a couple of minutes if you want to use it right away. Due to the high saponine content, you will see a foamy, soapy layer on top when you shake it. It even looks like soap. Pour the solution through a kitchen sieve in a detergent dispenser. In order to make more laundry detergents, since chestnuts mold very quickly, after cutting them into fourths, grain them in a kitchen machine or a mixer with ice crush function. Mix until the pieces are not bigger than a few millimeters. Dry them either in the sun if there is any, or in your oven for about 2-3 to three hours at 30-40 to 40 degrees celsius, or just use the rest warmth of the oven after you used it. When fully dried, you can store them for a long time. It should even last you until next year's harvest. I hope this was helpful, and for more info, head to selenasinspiration.com.